Prince Harry's world has been rocked by the devastating news of his father, King Charles III's cancer diagnosis, and the confirmation that there is no cure for the monarch's condition. This sobering reality has undoubtedly ignited a whirlwind of concerns within the Duke of Sussex, ranging from the deeply personal to the broader implications for the royal family and the nation as a whole. At the core of Harry's worries lies the profound fear of losing his father, a man with whom he has shared a tumultuous yet unbreakable bond. Despite the well-documented rifts and estrangement that have plagued their relationship in recent years, the prospect of King Charles's mortality has likely stirred within Harry a deep well of emotion, prompting him to confront the fragility of life and the fleeting nature of time. The confirmation that there is no cure for the king's cancer has likely amplified these concerns, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the future and forcing Harry to grapple with the harsh realities of a world without his father's guiding presence. As a son, husband, and father himself, Harry is intimately familiar with the profound impact that such a loss can have on a family. Having experienced the untimely death of his mother, Princess Diana, at a tender age. Beyond the personal anguish, Harry's concerns also extend to the broader implications for the royal family and the nation they serve. As the heir apparent to the throne, the Duke of Sussex is acutely aware of the seismic shift that his father's passing would trigger, ushering in a new era of leadership and potentially reshaping the very fabric of the monarchy itself. With King Charles is held now in jeopardy, Harry may find himself grappling with the weight of responsibility that could soon be thrust upon his shoulders. As the second in line to the throne, he may be forced to confront the daunting prospect of assuming a more prominent role within the royal family, a role that he had once so famously rejected in pursuit of a life beyond the confines of tradition and protocol. Moreover, Harry's concerns likely encompass the delicate balance between his personal desires and the demands of duty that have long defined the lives of those born into the royal lineage. While his heart may yearn for the opportunity to spend precious time with his ailing father, the obligations of his position and the ever-present scrutiny of the public eye may impose limitations on his ability to do so freely and without constraint. Compounding these worries is the specter of the fractured relationships that have plagued the royal family in recent years. The confirmation of King Charles's terminal condition may have reignited within Harry a sense of urgency to mend the rifts that have divided the family, prompting him to confront the complex web of emotions and grievances that have strained his relationships with his father, brother, and the broader institution of the monarchy. Yet, even as these concerns weigh heavily upon him, Harry's recent actions suggest a determination to rise above the turmoil and embrace the fleeting moments of unity and healing that such a crisis can often inspire. His swift decision to travel to London and be by his father's side in the wake of the diagnosis speaks volumes about the depth of his love and the resilience of the familial bonds that transcend even the most tumultuous of circumstances. As the world watches with bated breath, Harry's concerns serve as a poignant reminder of the universal truths that bind us all, the fragility of life, the enduring power of love, and the inextricable ties that bind families together, even in the face of adversity. For the Duke of Sussex, this chapter in his life's journey is undoubtedly one of the most challenging forcing him to confront his deepest fears and most profound hopes, all while navigating the intricate web of duty, tradition, and personal fulfillment that has defined his existence. Yet, in the midst of these concerns, there is also a glimmer of hope, a hope that this shared experience of loss and vulnerability may serve as a catalyst for healing, a bridge that spans the divide and reunites a family that has long been fractured by misunderstanding and discord. For Harry, the path ahead is uncertain, but it is a path that he must walk with courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to the values that have guided him thus far, love, compassion, and an unyielding determination to embrace the fleeting moments of joy and connection that life so often offers, even in the face of its most daunting challenges.